Hi, I'm Angelo Mazzei from Elba Island in Italy. Uh, actually, I am a museum keeper. It's very hard for me to explain uh, what is my background. Uh, it's very complicated, as they say in many American movies. So I go on with uh, what I want to tell you today about Etruscology, Etruscan language, and uh, above all, Etruscan uh, uh, alphabet. I have already spoken many times about how I believe that the Etruscans took the alphabet directly from the Phoenicians, prob probably at the same time as the Greeks, perhaps precisely to trade with them and with the Phoenicians. Conventional and encyclopedic knowledge has a different narrative. It is universally known that the Etruscan took the alphabet from the Greeks and not from the Phoenician directly, as I suggest. Maybe Euboics, Euboians, from Euboia. Uh, it's actually a large, long island from in from standing from the Gulf of uh, Perasjotide and Attica, so the Athen region, on the northeast side. Uh, they were uh, colonizing around the beginning of the 8th century. Uh, Campania, so central, uh, south, central South Italy, peninsula, and uh, uh, above, f at the first time, uh, Pitecusa, that is actually the island of Ischia in uh, Campania, in, not far from Napoli, Naples. On the direct derivation of the Etruscan alphabet uh, from the Phoenician, I have proposed many reasons that actually I wrote in Italian, uh, in different articles, and in my uh, private research. But uh, today <clears throat> um, I will talk about something uh, really um, authoritative. Hmm? I mean the authority of uh, very famous uh, professors of uh, Etruscology well known in, around the world about Etruscology and the Etruscan epigraphy. Uh, I would like to bring to my side what was affirmed by these two uh, luminaries in the field of, of Etruscan epigraphy. They are um, Professor Maras and Professor Benelli. Uh, among other things, it should be noted that as Maras recalls Quoting Benelli, in uh, Interferenza e Concorrenza uh, di Modelli Alfabetici e uh, Sistemi Scrittori nell'Etruria Arcaica, Interference and Competition of Alphabetic Models and Writing System in Archaic Etruria, uh, that is actually online on the Open Journal Edition. Uh, uh, the address is journal.openedition.org slash mefra m-e-f-r-a slash 742 uh, Maras says As for the sibilance, a work by Benelli has recently shown how in Greece the sign in the shape of M so capital M is actually a sign that is not M like it sounds to, in, in today uh, Western language, but it's, a, it's an S. So um, Sade or Sigma. Eh? So uh, as for the sibilance, a work of, uh, by Benelli has recently shown how in Greece the sign in the shape of M in use in some Peloponnesian scripts is actually a variant of the sigma rotated by 90 degrees. 
If you take an M and you rotate it of 90 degrees, so from vertical to horizontal shape, it makes a sigma. And uh, Benelli has shown show, shows um, by its position in the alphabetic series this kind of sigma with a NAM shape in the Pelopon Peloponnesian scripts is between in the alphabetical order is between uh, in, in the alphabetic series that it was. Uh, common to write the alphabetic series uh, for teacher of language, for, for scholars, no? for students. So in the alphabetic series, between Rho and Tau, so R-S-T, no? like we know. So in that place, but this is the place of Sigma, that is actually the other sign, that in Etruscan and in Archaic Greek is made with, like an S, but with three only segment and not with with four segments okay in etruria however the same sign so the m shape s is found in the position occupied by the phoenician tzade in the phoenician way of alphabetic series writing so like the phoenician did the etruscans they wrote that signs in that position, okay, where the Phoenician Tzade or Tzaid, I don't know the, the correct English pronunciation of the Phoenician word for Tzade. Already we can find this already in the very archaic alphabet of Marcy. I, I put very archaic in, in the Maras text that it, it's not in, but in the alphabet of Marsiliana d'Albegna, that is actually in the uh, main Etruria, Dodecapolis, so Tuscany, uh, Latium Vetus, so the north part of, uh, of uh, the region uh, to, today called Lazio. Hmm? Marsiliana d'Albegna is in that very, very uh, originary part of the Etruscan culture and writings. Uh, and even earlier of the Marsiliana d'Albegna, that is, uh, I think, to remember, 8th century, end of 8th century, or beginning of the 7th century, even earlier, it appears in opposition to the three-stroke sigma in the series of alphabetic marks of the closet of San Francesco in Bologna. Hmm? So Bologna, you know where it is. That was Welsna in uh, with, an, uh, with a D gamma uh, at the beginning, that is actually like an F, so Felsna, but Felsina, but is, uh, it is to, to be read Welsna. So, therefore, for all those around the world who says the Etruscans took the alphabet from the Uboic Greeks, as it is explain in that text that in Greece the M-shaped sign used by some Peloponnesian writings is actually a variant of the sigma and not a sade rotated by 90 degrees as evidenced by its position in the alphabetic series between Rho and Tau. In Etruria, however, the same sign is found in the position occupied by the Phoenician sade. So, I think that it is enough, this is a proof that the Etruscans knew, 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 knew the Phoenician alphabetic series before they know the Greek alphabetic series. So the Etruscans took the alphabet directly from the Phoenicians. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you a very nice day and I hope the world will um, rinsavire, we say in Italian, so uh, find his reason back.